Hello grade 7. Today we are going to talk about the volume of a sphere. This is the shape of a sphere which is exist in real life, which is a football, balloon, orange, Christmas, ball, and so on. And this is the geometric figure of a sphere. First, let's figure out what is the difference between the sphere and the circle. Circle is a two-dimensional figure, whereas a sphere is a three-dimensional object. And this is the difference between a circle and sphere. Let's know what is the volume of a sphere. Volume of a sphere equal 4 over 3 multiplied by by multiplied by r power of 3. And we said that by is a constant value which is equal 22 over 7, which is approximately equal 3.14. And the r, which is radius, and we said if I have a diameter I, and I need to find the radius, what I'm going to do? Perfect. I'm going to divide the diameter by 2. So, it, it, the radius equals half the diameter, which is the diameter is connected between the two sides of the circle and passes through the center. While the radius is come from the center till one, only one side of a circle. After a sphere, I have a hemisphere. Hemisphere, which is I cut the sphere in two parts. Two equal parts must be equal like the northern hemisphere and the southern southern hemisphere all right so i cut the sphere into equal parts so if i need to find the volume of hemisphere i'm going to also to find a half of the volume of hemisphere of the sphere which is a volume of sphere equal 1 over 2 multiply 4 over 3 multiply by multiply r power of 3, which is, this is the, uh, the, uh, the volume of sphere. So if I need to find volume of this hemisphere, it's half multiply 4 over 3 multiplied by r power of 3. To be easy, I'm going to multiply fraction together, which is in 1 over 2, multiply 4 over 3. And what I'm doing when I multiply fractions? Multiply denominator by denominator and denominator by denominator. So, 1 over 4, 1 over 2, multiply 4 over 3. So, 1 multiply 4, 4, 2 multiply 3, 6. 4 over 6 in the simplest form, because both of them in the same table, which is table 2. So, divide up and down by 2, so it's going to be 2 over 3. So, 2 over 3 by r power of 3. So, what is the volume of this hemisphere? 2 over 3 by r power of r, uh, r, or power of 3. The miss, can I say half multiplied by 4 over 3 multiplied by r power of 3? Yes, they are the same. Okay? And now let's take an example. Let's figure out the example. It's page 606. Find the volume of a sphere round to the nearest tensors. First of all, I need to write the volume of a sphere. Volume of a sphere equal 4 over 3 by r power of 3. So first step, I need to write my volume. Alright, and then I'm going to look to my graph when I have the sphere. What is the radius? 6 millimeters. So I have a radius. It's okay. Now substitute. 4 over 3, write it down, multiply by y, which is 3.14, multiply r power of 3. What I have in r, it's how many? It's 6. So 6 power of 3, which is mean 6 times 6 times 6. Round the entry to the nearest tensors, it's gonna to be 904.8. Right? What is the unit measure I have? It's millimeter. So, 904.8 cubic millimeter, which is millimeter power of 3. Let's find, uh, uh, let's do this problem to find out. Find the volume of each sphere round to the nearest tensors. In A, I have a diameter which is 22 centimeter. Can I find the radius? For sure, which is radius equal diameter divided by 2. So 22 divided by 2, which is equal 11. So radius equal diameter divided by 2. So 22 divided by 2, which is equal 11. So I have a radius equal 11. I need to find a volume, so volume of sphere equal 4 over 3, 4 over 3 multiply by, which is equal 3.14, 
multiply r power of 3 which is 11 times times itself 3 times times 11 times 11 all right so answer in the sentence for rounding to the nearest tenses it gonna to be 5575.3 cubic centimeter so centimeter power of 3 or a cubic centimeter right all right the second one b i have a radius which is five millimeter can i find the volume yes find the volume of a sphere equal four over three multiply by which is 3.14 multiply multiply r power of three which is what the value of r it's five so five multiply five multiply five which is equal brand new to the knees tensors so it gonna to be equal 523.6 cubic milli millimeter all right and now let's take an example for the hemisphere example for page 607 find the volume of the hemisphere round to the knees tensors so I have a hemisphere and I need to, uh, to find the volume, then round it to the nearest tenths. Thus, I'm going to write the volume, which is 1 over 2 multiply 4 over 3 multiply by r power of 3. And we said inset of 1 over 2 multiply 4 over 3, I can write 2 over 3. So I can use 2 over 3 as you like. Right? Okay. So. 1 over 2 multiply by 4 over 3 multiply by which is 3.14 multiply 5 power of 3 which is 5 times 5 times 5 and the answer is going to be in the nearest tenses rounding approximately equal 261.8 and what is the unit measure centimeter so it's going to be cubic centimeter or centimeter power of 3 do this problem to find out e i have a diameter which is two centimeter i have a diameter so can i find the radius yes radius equal diameter divided by two which is equal two divided by two which is equal perfect one so radius equal one can i can i write the volume uh, the volume of this hemisphere yes volume of hemisphere equal one over two multiply four over three multiply by which is what are the value of by we said 3.14 multiply by radius power of 3 what is the value of radius 1 so 1 multiply 1 multiply multiply 1 so a volume is gonna to be approximately equal around the mean stances it gonna to be 2.1 centimeter power of 3 or a cubic centimeter so it's gonna to be 2.1 cubic centimeter or centimeter power of three in the second in the end of example f and i have a, i have a radius which is equal nine point uh, nine millimeter so radius equal nine can i find the volume of the hemisphere yes so volume of hemisphere equal one over two multiply four over three multiply by what is the value of by 3.14 multiply by a radius what is the value uh, what is the value of radius 9 9 power of 3 which is 9 times 9 times 9 so equal rounding to the nearest tenses or approximately equal so the answer is going to be 1526.8 and what is the unit measure meter so cubic meter or meter power of 3 okay all right grade seven please you have to study the video and solve your assignment i'm going to send for you the assignment over lms stay safe stay home bye